Хочу, чтобы мама была рядом, и хочу с ней поделиться. Потому что на протяжении двух лет мы просим сюда, они мне отказывают. Я не знаю, вот почему так вот происходит. Очевиден факт мести и расправы с использованием служебного положения. This is Clifford Levy of the New York Times, reporting from Siberia. Tatiana Kazakova was a prominent businesswoman in Siberia. Several years ago, she decided to transform a dying village on the shores of Lake Baikal into a tourist destination. She built a hotel, was elected mayor, and planned a real estate development. И рабочие места появились. Это все благодаря ей. Everything changed in December 2007. Mayor Kazakova believed that a resort and health spa in her village was doing illegal construction. She said the project was endangering the village's heating pipes in the Siberian winter. But this was not just any resort. It was owned by the FSB successor to the Soviet era KGB. The resort's director ignored her. She sued, filed complaints with regional authorities, and took her concerns to FSB headquarters in Moscow. But in today's Russia, you cannot go up against the FSB, as Kazakova soon found out. 28 марта Татьяну арестовали. 31 марта суд удовлетворился требования Санатория Байкал. После этого началась фабрикация этого уголовного дела. Kazakova has been in a pretrial detention center since March 2008. The security services do not dominate society now as they did under communism, but their power is still virtually unchecked. The country's paramount leader, Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, is a former KGB officer and a former head of the FSB. The FSB normally investigates threats to national security and major crimes, but now 25 agents were scrutinizing Kazakova's tenure as mayor of Lysyanka, a village of only 1,700 people. It was called a counterintelligence operation. The agents even examined her election two years previously, when 1,200 people voted. Agents accused her of a felony, saying she had illegally registered 136 voters. Прошли пять лет назад, и вдруг сейчас стали копошить, правильно или неправильно эти выборы были. Была комиссия выбор избирательная, которая все считала, смотрела, наблюдали в четыре глаза. Люди за нее голосовали. Это не преступление. Это люди ее выбрали. She was also charged with secretly benefiting from a $120,000 village maintenance contract. Her family and lawyers called the charges trumped up. За два года она вложила собственных средств 35 миллионов на благо людей, живущих в поселке, и построила вот здание администрации, например, на свои деньги. Линию электропередач. Ущерб на начальном этапе составлял 3 миллиона рублей. То есть где логика? The FSB would not respond to questions from the New York Times. It has never explained why it devoted so many resources to arresting a village mayor. But a spokesman for the prosecutor said the case had nothing to do with the FSB resort. Recent scandals have focused widespread attention on how the authorities pressure and punish defendants in pretrial detention. Sergei Magnitsky was a lawyer caught up in a tax investigation. He died in custody after being denied medical care. Vera Trifonova was a suspect in a fraud case that she disputed. She died after the authorities ignored her diabetes and other serious health problems. For now, Kazakova's only contact with her family is through letters. The prosecutor's office asserts that family members are lying about not having visits. But documents from the jail back up the family. And so does a senior Kremlin official, Pavel Astakhov. 
he has assailed the judge and prosecutor for not allowing visits. This is a major injustice. I just don't understand how this can be reasonable in this particular case. Astakov is the Federal Children's Ombudsman. He said he was especially troubled by the judge's treatment of Daria, Kazakova's daughter. She is 15 and has a serious neurological disease. Doctors want to send her abroad for treatment, but the judge will not allow it. Несмотря на на любые меры защиты, противостоять этой системе практически невозможно ничем. Потому что полная безнаказанность. Kazakova is now on trial, and a verdict is expected in the next few weeks. Still, the pressure has not relented. Her fiancé was visited recently by FSB officers. They ordered him to stop speaking with the New York Times.